Can you name that movie? I may not have the beard, but I got the same long scraggly hair and the rugged good looks. Monument Valley has been the backdrop for a ton of movies here in the United States. Pretty much every Old West movie has it. So just as a test, let me know in the comments which movies you've seen this beautiful scenery in. And today, I'm gonna take you north and explore a whole bunch of other places uh, that you can see that are just amazing in this beautiful country here in, in Utah. Monument Valley is located in the border of Utah and Arizona and it's all in Navajo land and they've asked that people don't fly drones in Navajo land but just over the San Juan River now we're in BLM land and here you can fly all you want and this is amazing I mean look at some of these features they're very similar sandstone formations to those that you find in Monument Valley but here there's tons of open space you can camp for free anytime you want uh, I've seen a lot of trailers I even seen, seen a bus you could bring your bus you could bring your bikes this is just open space to enjoy and and to admire these giant formations this place is incredible Seeing these amazing features just really makes you think <laughs> and bring you down to earth a little bit and how, how small we really are in the big scheme of things. Some of these boulders are bigger than the Jeep. I know it's a small Jeep, but still some of these boulders that have fallen down and rolling down the hill are much larger than the Jeep. This Valley of the Gods here, this is an amazing drive. Uh, it, it's incredible really. Beautiful sunny day and like 30 degree weather. <laughs> A little cooler than I like, but it's still awesome. If you continue the road all the way around Valley of the Gods, you end up really close to Gooseneck State Park. And it's pretty interesting. I, I tried to put the drone up. I don't know if I got the picture or not. It's really windy and I'm afraid to lose it. So <laughs> let me see what come out. I'll pop it here on the screen. Just how the rivers have eroded this and, and literally horseshoes, one, two, three, maybe even four. It just looks amazing. Hopefully I got the picture, we'll see. Can you guess the name of that rock up there? That's Mexican Hat. It's a landmark here in Southern Utah. Let me put the drone up so I can show you a, a closer perspective of how large <laughs> and how crazy that rock is balanced there on, on what looks like a little teeny rock. It's incredible.
lot to see and to explore here in the Monument Valley area, as you can see. And Monument Valley is probably the, the most popular destination here. Uh, it's ran by the tribe and you do have to pay a fee to, to go in. But there is so much more just outside of that park. We took the Jeep on one, some of these 1D bumpy roads and it was amazing. Some of the scenery you can see and there was nobody there. Just exploring the path less traveled. To me, sometimes that's very important. And today was amazing. So thank you very much for watching. I have one more day here. I'm gonna be heading north. Probably an hour and a half, two hours. There's a lot more to explore. But for now, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button and we'll see you next week. Bye. Join us next week as we take the Jeep on some epic roads, I descend the ladder, and Bambi hangs out at the house on fire. <laughs>